face on. You coming over? Hello. Yeah, I'll be right over. Okay, see ya. Okay. <laughs> so how are you this morning? I'm okay, how are you? Well, not too bad, considering this ugly and cold weather. And we're supposed to have more snow tomorrow. Here's your milk. Thanks. So anyway, how's that leg of yours doing? Oh, it's getting better. Oh, that's good. Glad to hear that. Yeah. So anyway, what's new going on? Nothing in particular. How about you? Mm, well, did you read your devotion this morning? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, this fits in with us so much. <laughs> Is this over here? Yeah. I gotta show this to you. Yeah, yeah, I you, probably read it. You, you uh, did? I read my devotion this morning, too. Well, so did I. But look at this. This yeah. is something oh, good. I'll read it. I am your strength. This is Jesus talking to us. I am your strength and your shield. Remember that. And then, was, and, and then it, of course, it goes on to more stuff, but we have to remember that he's our strength and our shield. And then, did you see this in the paper? Look at this. You know what? I missed that. That is good. That's good for this time of the year, too. Yeah. Could I read this? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. That's good. Okay. Winter scenes are beautiful, but the cold weather sometimes brings unpleasant surprises, like frostbite or frozen pipes. I had one of them. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did. I thought Dale was going to fix that for you. Well, Dale came over and uh, it said uh, he, he got it for one. Oh, well, that's good. I'm and then I let my spigot stretch. Oh, yes. Yeah. They yeah. tell you to leave them drip. Yeah. And it's so cold. Yeah, that's what I did. Anyway, a little preparation can save a lot of aggravation and prevent a lot of damage. Life can bring <laughs> unpleasant surprises, too. Oh, yeah. Unwelcome events can cause frustration and resentment that freeze out the warmth in our hearts. Oh, they sure do. How can we ensure our spiritual survival? Prepare ahead of time. You bet. At your home of worship. Find the warmth and understanding to keep your spirit aglow in all seasons. You will survive and thrive with God's love. Ain't that something? Yeah. I thought that was so neat. I had to take that out of the paper. I think it was in the merchandiser. But anyway, I wanted you to see that because I thought that just fit with this whole winter thing that we have yeah. going on. And the lesson today from Jesus called. Yes, our strength. Yeah, that fit in real well too. And you know we're supposed to get more snow tomorrow. Oh, I know. Oh, jeepers, I'm glad we could get together today. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Dolores, I, I have something I have to talk to you about. Okay. Which, so Thank goodness we have each other. I'm telling you, I don't know what I'd do without a friend like you. I have this situation coming in my life that is not very good for an old lady. Uh, I'm supposed to be raising my grandson. I can't do this, Dolores. I'm getting too old for that kind of stuff. What do you think I should do? Well, what do you think you should do? I know what I should do, but you tell me what I should do. <laughs> I, 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 I depend on your advice, you know. You're, well, my, you're my big helper. I, I think we need to pray about it. Maybe and yeah, we will to find out what God wants you to do about that. You think he wants me raising a baby at this age? <coughs> I mean, now, come on. I, <laughs> well, this, is, this is just a little bit too tough for me. But my husband, he says we can do it. He said, he, yeah. Well, it's a boy, you know. He, oh, okay. You know, we just had a girl, so he wants this little boy now to guess tinker with. <laughs> make, make little toys again. Oh, he, 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 he wants to make a birdhouse for it, you know, help him. 
make this burden us and anyway I am at my wit's ends. I just don't think this is a good thing for us. So what do you do? I'm and talking to you about it. That's <laughs> what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a decision for you and if it doesn't work out you're going to call me. Right? <laughs> and I'm going to say Dolores I need help. What do you think? You know I think you need to speak to God about it. I think I did already, but I don't know if he wants to hear me right now. Because that's pretty darn frustrated. You know, you know, these trials come along in our life, and what are we supposed to do? And this is a trial. Well, and this is a trial that's not going to end tomorrow. I think that's probably, in a lot of cases, we know Christ, we know Jesus, know. we invited him into our lives. I know. But it can't just stop there. Let me about it. This will go on for years. I mean, he's just a little boy. I have no answer for you, and I can't make your choice, Ellen, but I can tell you to do a lot of praying about it and see what God would have you do with this little boy. Well, this is a trial I really ain't looking forward to, let me tell you. This is a blizzard in my life. Well, I believe that, and I know that we Christians, we, um, we invite Christ into our life, but a lot of times we're, we're lacking in really pursuing him and getting to know the word, getting in the word, and uh, let that become a part of our lives daily. Yeah, I know. I mean, we kind of stop at a place and don't really um, take the time, actually, to read the word, to understand the word. Well, I understand, I guess, what I want to understand right now, and it ain't that good. Well, there, come over and live with me. All right, that sounds like a plan. We all know oh, the golly. places where we have to deal with things that uh, we would rather not deal with. I know. But God told us that uh, for us to live as Christ, to know him is gain. And just by taking that step, of inviting him in, that, that's not, it shouldn't end there. It should be ongoing in our pursuit of him, yeah, in says, our growing in him. He says he'll be with us all the time, right? And um, through everything, that's what he said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, well, that's well I mean. sure hope he hangs in there with me because the situation of mine is going to be a bit depressing when I hear a baby crying at night. I'm not ready for that anymore. I believe you. I wouldn't be ready for word either. Okay, well, we'll have to think about this and pray about it, that's for sure. We have those winter times in our lives. You bet. We and sure I do. think a big problem with us is we, we stop sometimes short of really getting into God's Word. <clears throat> Boy, I tell you, this is something else. Okay, so down the road now, this boy is going to school, graduating, college, he comes home for a little while, and his grandpa passes away, and then he often leaves me and goes to the Marines. I, I'm, I'm really going to need God on my side. And boy, you better keep coming here every Saturday morning so I have somebody to hang on to. Um, I'll be there. I'll be calling. Mm -hmm. Copies on <laughs> in my house coat and my slippers. And getting through this was this boy who became a man now. <laughs> he even got married. So he's off of my hands now. Now she can take care of him. <laughs> he moved away, way far away, up to Washington. Uh, we, I, get, we get through these you things. Know what, Ellen? We all have winters in our lives. Amen. There's always going to be things that are going to crop up that we have to deal with. That's for sure. And some are <coughs> difficult. Some of those things are difficult to deal with. I tell you, it's something else. I don't know how people do it without the Lord and without a good friend to talk to and pray with. I'm telling you, if anybody, if they need a friend or People need friends, let me tell you. And I mean a good friend that's in the Lord also, because, boy, I don't know what I'd have done without you many times. You've been a blessing in my life. 
I am sure glad that I have the Lord in my life and, and you. And I look forward to that call Saturday morning. Coffee's on. I'll be right over. This devotional, I tell you what, this here hits on some, some days that I can't believe. <laughs> you know it's right on. I tried to give my family that so that all of them would have the yeah. opportunity to follow that. Because I think that's probably oh, where we're like, you know, in um, not really studying the Word right. and really getting to know God. Hey, this is neat here where he says, my car flows freely into you through our open communication. Well, boy, we have open communication, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Father God, for this time that Dolores and I can get together and discuss our problems and life in general. Lord, I just thank you and I praise you for this dear friend of mine. She's certainly a blessing in my life. I love her dearly. Thank you, Lord, that I can unload all my problems on her shoulders. I thank you for that. Thank you, Father, for the reality of who you are. And thank you that you said you would never leave us or forsake us. And no matter what problem comes our way or no matter what's going on in our lives or the lives of our children, grandchildren, etc., we know that there is nothing in this world that can take us down when we're very much in touch with you. I just thank you for who you are and for your great love for my friend Ellen also, that you would bless her and I just keep her down a little bit, you know, don't let her get too excited about her son and her grandson.